All right, friends, today we are going to practice gratitude by kindly moving our bodies, stretching it in a gentle way. Each week you have gotten a sample so far of some of our classes at Whole Fitness, um, and we're just moving five minutes. We are going to do a five-minute stretch. Thanksgiving is around the corner, and maybe some of you just need a moment to breathe and some rest. Maybe some of you just finish, finished a workout, and you're like, I would like to add this at the end of my cool down. So we're going to come all the way down. Feel free to grab your yoga mat. You're going to start in a child's form. So bringing those toes together, knees out. You're going to sit it all the way back, resting your head here on the mat. And as you're resting, I just invite you to inhale through the nose and then exhale through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Just take a moment to pause and be still. Pausing in gratitude. What are you grateful for? Offer up three things to God that you're grateful for. When you find your mind getting distracted, just ask God to help you to refocus on gratitude. Go ahead and take your right arm and loop it underneath your left arm. You're going to drop that shoulder on the floor, turning your head towards the left here. In Psalms 40, he talks about, David talks about how wondrous are all the deeds of God. They're too numerous to count. Think about something about God that you're grateful for. What is it about him that you're grateful for? Go and switch sides here. That word wondrous, wondrous deeds, literally means extraordinary. Go ahead and come on up to a tabletop position. Hands are underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. We're going to do some cat cows here. Slowly round your back. So going back to extraordinary. His extraordinary deeds, it means something that us as humans cannot do. It's so wonderful. Something that, we, that he does or has done, like our mind cannot wrap around it. We don't know how it's done. Just cat cow here, arching and rounding the back. Think about that. Where have you seen God do something extraordinary in your life and you want to give him thanks for? Go back to that child's form, toes together, knees out. Just think about the sunset and the sunrise. You didn't create that. No human being created that. God did. The fact that every morning there's a sunrise and we go down to, to sleep, there's a sunset. Think about all the animals. I recently was on a hike with a friend and we saw a skunk, which <laughs> can be frightening. You don't want to get sprayed. But I said to my friend, I'm, I was like, isn't it amazing that that's how God created an animal to defend itself? It's so unique. It's extraordinary, right? Come on up to a seated position, feet out in front of you. There's so many things that we take for granted. And I, I don't know how many times have I read or seen a skunk. I've smelled a skunk lots of times on the side of the road. But just think about all the things that God has created in unique ways. And give him praise. It's extraordinary. Think about all the things in the ocean there are still things that are not discovered that they are discovering all the time that's uh, god knows about every single one and again just going back to your life look over your life where have you seen seen god show up maybe it was in a relationship that you thought this will never change it's always going to be this way. This person is always going to be this way. Or this would never happen. And God made it happen. 
that you look back and you're like, that was God. I couldn't have done that. I can't change their heart. Maybe it's somebody that you've been praying for to follow Jesus and they have been so closed off, their heart is hardened. You can't change their heart, but maybe you saw and watched God do that. Soften their heart, open their eyes to him. Maybe that was you. Where you just kept saying no, and God opened your eyes in extraordinary ways to see him, to believe in him, to follow him. Go ahead and bring those legs out wide. And then walking your hands forward, just holding it here, just getting those hamstrings. Walking your hands all the way to one side, letting a hand rest on either side of the leg here. So as we are stretching, practicing gratitude, I love what David writes and says that they're God's wondrous deeds, all his extraordinary works are too numerous to count. Friends, we can, it's so easy to say, oh, I can think of five things, maybe 10 things, 15 things we're grateful for, but then we get stuck, right? It's like, oh, uh, what else? And that verse just really convicted me that there are so many things that God does that I am not paying attention to. Let's go back to our hands and our knees. So maybe as a, for a moment here, as we do this um, sun salutation, that you just say, God, open my eyes to see you, my ears to hear you, and just help me live a life of gratitude, not just in November, but all year long. Go ahead and raise your glutes towards the ceiling. You're going to pedal it out here, dropping a heel right and left. And then you're gently going to walk your feet all the way to your hands. Arms come out, bring them all the way up. And then hands come to heart center. Great job, let's do that again. Inhale, soften the knees, rise. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise. And as you come all the way up, maybe a soft back bend at the top. Just invite you to close your eyes or lower your gaze. And then bringing your hands to heart center and offer up some gratitude for today. What are you grateful for? Inhale, rise, coming all the way up. Exhale, forward fold. This time we're going to pause our hands at the bottom, step it back. You're welcome to drop it to a knee if you like. We're going to um, keep that left foot in front. Now you can have hand, your hands on the ground, your knee on the ground. You're not on top of your knee. You're leaning forward, or you can make it a deeper stretch by popping up to your toes, holding it here, and breathe. Again, remember, you can come down to that knee, but you're not on top of it. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling gratitude, exhaling gratitude. God is extraordinary. Go ahead and gently drop that knee. Bring the left leg back. And we're going to bring that right foot forward, opening up the hips again. You can stay on the knee, leaning forward, or pop up that knee. You're on your toes. David goes on to say in Psalms 40, 4 through 5, not only is he an extraordinary God, but his thoughts towards us like are numerous. And I th was thinking about that this morning. Go ahead and gently drop that knee. Swing it back carefully. Bring your toes together. We're going to finish out in a child's pose, holding it here. And I was thinking about the God of the universe who creates extraordinary things has so many thoughts towards us. My friends, there's so much to be grateful for. He delights in you. He cares for you. He is a relational God. He wants to be with you. His thoughts towards you are good. He loves you. You're welcome to stay in that child's form as long as you like, offering up some gratitude. Maybe 
turning your hands, your palms up. And before we continue in such a busy season, maybe just stay here for a few moments longer and just talk to God, giving him thanks before we rush off and forget. Why are we celebrating Thanksgiving? It's so easy to go through all the things, make all the food, travel, all the stuff. Christmas is around the corner and not offer up gratitude. So maybe take some, a few moments here just to breathe and just thanking God. God, where have I seen your extraordinary ways, your, the things that you do and say? And God, speak to me. Like he has so many thoughts towards you. He wants to be with you if you read the um, verses before that, like God wants you. And that is so much to be grateful for, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>